Hey, what's up guys? My name is Tommy with Talkify, and I'm here to talk about one of our new series on this channel. But before I start that off, I'm actually here with uh, my guest, Vier of Otaku Logic, but he's actually not here. He's out in the East Coast because they all stay out there while we're out here in the West. But uh, besides that, besides that, so pretty much this video and future series is pretty much called Predictions, where we predict exactly what's going to happen at the end of an anime series without reading the manga, without talking to people about it, just by based off of that first episode. And we decided to do Plastic Memories as... <laughs> wow, that was so weird how I said that. Plastic Memories as our first video, um, since it's definitely one of our Spring 2015 video or animes, it's perfect, right? And from what I know, there's no manga, so it's perfect, exactly, exactly. And so if you guys haven't already seen it, it's pretty awesome. Uh, I'll just give you a quick synopsis of exactly what goes down. I'm gonna read off my anime list because I'm slightly easy. So after failing his college entrance exams, 18-year-old Tsukasa Mizugaki <laughs> is offered a position at the renowned SAI Corporation due to his father's connections. SAI Corp is known for its production and management of androids that possess human emotions called Giftios. Tsukasa's position in the terminal service department where their main job is to recover these Giftias are close to their expiration. It's a graveyard department in every sense. To make matters worse, Tsukasa is ordered to work with Isla, a female Giftia who is never getting any given any responsibility other than serving tea to her co-workers. So if you guys haven't already seen it, it's just, it's just it's all sorts of hilarity. Um, but you just have this odd feeling exactly what's going to happen after watching that first episode. If you guys haven't seen the first episode, I definitely suggest watching it. It's a pretty good watch. It's hilarious. And you, you definitely find those same characters that you kind of see throughout most main, uh, most animes nowadays. But if you have if you already seen that episode, you might be thinking exactly what I'm thinking, so, okay. Prediction time! Um, literally, what I think is that this is one of those animes where you know there's gonna be something depressing, you know that someone's gonna die, or, in a sense, like, expire, um, who, which would be Isla, since uh, Sukasa and uh, Isla were kind of given this partnership, and you find out that she's a veteran, you do realize that she's pretty much been out there for a lot longer than most of the Giftias actually within that court. So you know that she's gonna probably expire soon, but one of our predictions is pretty much that she's going to, she's gonna disappear, or she's gonna expire. He's not gonna know, and he's gonna freak out because he's gonna see what's going on, like what, like something might be happening to her because she went past her expiration date. One of the other conclusions that I think there might be is that she's gonna, She's gonna tell them exactly how long he had or how long she has left, and then they're pretty much gonna spend the most time together. He's gonna tr probably treat her like a queen or whatever, doing whatever it takes so that she and him have like the best memories together. And then she's gonna pass away, he's gonna cry, and then miracle, miracle, this is definitely gonna happen, and she's gonna somehow remember him probably by that. Oh, I can't tell you! Oh. But, uh, yeah, so something's gonna trigger pretty much that memory, and I think that's gonna bring her back. And she'll be like, I remember you, Sakasa, da 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 da. Or definitely one of the possible solutions that I think might actually be it is that they're both gonna find out, someone's gonna tell them, um, and then eventually um, he tries make, figuring out a solution to surpass that expiration date. Like, he's actually gonna try to do something. And like, maybe, because even though he didn't pass any of his interest exams, he's gonna probably like find out someone, or he's gonna find someone who's gonna help him out, help him try to see if they could extend these these expiration dates for these gift years. I don't know how to say it. But pretty much, yeah, you just, you have this odd feeling that it's gonna be sad and depressing, but it's one of those animes that definitely have a happy ending. So definitely this might be one of the conclusions to, or hopefully, is one of the conclusions to the anime series. Uh, what do you think about Veer? Yo! Good community! <laughs> it's Veer from Otaku Logic, and today I am doing a collab video with Tommy from Otaku Fire. You know, he appeared first inside this video. So I'd like to thank Tommy for letting me join on his video this time. Thanks, Tommy. Good guy. Now. You know, as Tommy said, if he is doing a prediction, he is making a new series called a Prediction Series, and his first series is going to be Plastic Memories. You know that Plastic Memory is a show that came out in 
It's still airing currently while we're making this video in spring 2015 season. So if you're watching this after, you know, the season, I'm just getting out information right there. So uh, on to the prediction. Now, I do agree a lot with what Tommy said on his prediction. I have seen his prediction first before I made mine, so. But I'm not basing my prediction based solely on his prediction. I just totally agree with his prediction, and when he told me that we're gonna do Plastic Memories, I agree. I was like, I was gonna say that, so I am gonna try to say something a little bit different. Kinda. Now, I think that Plastic Memories, the end of it, can go two ways. It can go in this way. Option number one. Aya. I think that's the main character's female character's name, and Sukuska, or something like that. I'm sorry, I'm, gonna, I'm bad with names, so I'm gonna say the main male character, and if I'm wrong, I'm just gonna say Aya. I'm just gonna say Aya. So, you know, Aya, she has about 2,000 hours left to live as an android, as a regalia. Regalia? Regalia. Regalia. As a regalia, I'm, I'm just gonna say android. She has 2,000 hours left to live as an android, and that's equivalent to take 24 hours in a day time. 365 square root divided by 3, square root of 9, take, take the absolute value of negative 6. I don't. Two years, about two years, a little over two years. She has a little over two years to live, I think. I think. I'm good at math, I'll just, with a calculator, I'm good with math. She has about, I'm gonna say she has two years left to live. She has two years left to live, 2,000 hours left to live. And, you know, after Android has you know, used all their lifespan, they go into this mode where they lose their memories and their personality starts to fade. They lose their personality and they lose their memories. AI. A this is what happened to AI when her 2000 hour limit comes to be. And I know the main male character does not want that to happen. He doesn't. He and AI is going to have like a strong bond. I'm not going to say they will have a romantic relationship. I'm not saying that. I am only saying that they are going to have a strong bond. They're going to be like, what? I'm, they're going to be like the closest people inside the show and what they do. doing. They is going to have a strong bond and then they are going to like be really, really funny with each other. Now the main male character, once AI reach a 2,000 hour limit, he is gonna like, uh, try to do something. So he's gonna do this, like I said, option one. He is going to try to, like, when they do with the other androids, he's gonna be, he is gonna like retrieve her. Like she's gonna try to do something where she don't wanna be retrieved or she might just accept and retrieve and the main male character will go and retrieve her or like get her and like put her to rest. I'm not, it's not like a dog, she not shooting them. Like, what would they do with the androids after they get them from the people's houses? That's what they're gonna do. Like, store them or something like that. This, this sounds horrible. Retrieve them, put them down. Oh, God. <laughs> Whatever they do, once they get the androids, that's what's gonna happen to AI. Okay. Option two. Option two is what Tommy have said. That's what I, I thought to begin with. Option two. That. She would lose all her memories, she would lose her personality, and like she would be in some state. You now, it happens a lot in anime and so shows and even books that when somebody loses their memory, somebody close to them, like they would like call their name or they will like get an object or say something or smell or something, and that would smell would like snap them out of their mind, like state where they forget everything and they bring it back and be like, oh. And they remember everything. They remember everything back. That happens all the time. It's pretty common and a little cliche, but unfortunately, that might be option two for plastic memories. She, uh, the main my character, is going to say something, or he's going to do something that makes AI remember something, and then that's what's going to happen. And she won't. She will get her personality will be back, and then things like that. So that is option two for what happened on plastic memories. That's just about it that I have today, guys. That's. The Basically, the main things that I have for y'all, and I like to thank Tommy for letting me join in the collab with his video. Thanks, Tommy, and until next time, it has been there from a top logic. See you next time. Uh, thank you guys for watching this first video of our prediction series. And if you guys haven't already, make sure that you guys watch uh, one of our past videos down below here or here. Uh, well, if you guys can actually see me pointing them, but yeah. Uh, one of them is probably a video of me talking about Food War Show Kugeki no Soma. Awesome. I definitely suggest watching it. Or, well, series. But you can watch the video too that, uh, that we posted, but that, I'm just saying. 
But um, yeah, definitely a must watch if you guys are into food and foodgasms. If you haven't already seen the other video too, it's uh, me playing Ding and Ropa. Um, it's definitely one of my first times playing it. I have seen it anime series, the OVAs, whatever, already. But you know, it's always fun to relive the game. So yeah, if you guys haven't already, and also don't forget to fave, subscribe, like, share, do whatever you want with our videos and stuff. It'll be really cool. And definitely subscribe to Talk to Logic if you guys haven't already. I'm probably gonna put it somewhere in the screen here. Um, yeah, definitely subscribe to their channel. They're they're awesome guys. Definitely, I would say like one of our like, good like, anime friends out here in this community. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and see you latest.